They are sounds that resonate across time and oceans while carrying the wisdom of generations. The Liberian Women's Choir sings notes of pleasure and pain, of hurt and healing, of lives shattered, then reclaimed and rebuilt. They sing a movement that speaks to the heart, mission, and musical vision of award-winning composer and trumpeter Hannibal Lacumbe. Hannibal is musician, is poet, is teacher, genealogist, truth seeker, spiritual warrior, husband, father, brother, son. I am the son of Lillian E. Peterson, the grandson of General and Susie Peterson, the great grandson of Silas Burgess. Hannibal traced the path of his ancestors back to Liberia, West Africa, where just three generations ago, his great-grandfather was taken from the continent. Who at eight years of age, along with his mother, was taken through this door of Bonsi Island, off the coast of Monrovia. They were ushered in chains through this door into the belly of a boat that would carry them and other Africans to enslavement in America. Hannibal calls it a door of no return that separated them from the fullness of life. Hannibal suggests many of us, from all backgrounds, pass through life-altering doors, crossing thresholds that lead us away from our best selves. By rape, by violence, we all have a door. Hannibal believes God aches when we live fractured lives. Can't you see how much I love you? Can't you see it in my tears? He's been commissioned by arts and education supporter Carol Hasgravano to compose Can You Hear God Crying? The work for jazz quintet, chamber orchestra, and chorus premieres at the Kimmel Center this December. I really value the work that he does and the way that he can touch people's souls. Um, and he's definitely touched my soul. While creating the music, Hannibal has convened a different kind of ensemble, the Music Liberation Orchestra. Its members are jailed men he calls brother. They meet behind bars to travel to their emotional doors of no return and reclaim pieces of their humanity they've left behind. Through this doorway you must return so as to change forever from what you have now become. They adhere to four rules, renounce violence, seek the divine, look for forgiveness, and keep a journal for themselves and their children. They take the kind of journey that could bring all kinds of folks who dare to face tough and tender truths to a reunion with powerful self. I think a lot of people will be defensive about it. Um, a lot, everybody is going to be uncomfortable with it. The value of just all of our experiences are brought into the light. And if we do what's right, if we, if we continue this journey that we're on, this nation could be the greatest nation ever. It is now, but it could be even greater. Join us in the coming months as we witness the mission and the music unfold in our communities, in Philadelphia schools, and through the eyes of jailed and released Music Liberation Orchestra members. As Brother Hannibal said, it gets worse before it gets better. But in order for it to get better, you have to find the source of your pain, the source of your anger. Join us as we meet the mother whose love nurtured Hannibal's connection to redemption. Far away to that land where joy will never end. trumpet truth with notes of light and love and life that carry the hurt and the healing of so many generations. Hear him trumpet music that is fueled by the power of age-old songs that ask, can you hear God crying?